Morning everyone, we're back and we're gonna be driving this beautiful white STI hatch. We just got done doing uh, head gaskets on and I think I told you guys what we ended up finding was the heads just were not flat. So either they didn't get decked when it first went together or two, it got overheated at some point with the new motor built. So I'm gonna go do the test drive in this thing. We're gonna be heading to the shop today to let Alex in because we have a ton to do. So let's hop right in this scene. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm in here because it is uh, getting cold out, boys. And we don't have to be outside anymore. Oh, I don't know what this life is. I've never been this spoiled. Well, I mean, obviously I've had other shops that I've worked with, but never my own place, guys. I'm so freaking excited. It hasn't even hit yet. Like, it's still surreal. So let's go ahead, get on the road, pick this girl out. Hopefully we don't get stranded. I'm sure we'll be good running so much better now so much happier definitely need one of our transmission service cocktails because this tranny uh she's a bit on the noisy side so you know cruise the scene over there and you guys are gonna get to see what's going on today so let's jump right into it guys update this sti is driving awesome now doesn't seem to be having any issues as you'd expect Obviously, of course, not right off the bat, but we are just pulling up. I'm sure we're going to be waiting on good old Alex to show up. You guys will get to see him. Uh, more progress has been made on the shops, guys. Uh, it looks like they've almost got one fence all the way up here. And then we are going to be looking into security systems. So soon we will have a nice security system going in, but you can see here that bullpen there is almost done and then we're gonna have one on the other side of the dyno shop there and then this is gonna be the working shop on the end so let me pull around and I'm gonna look over this car make sure there's no leaks or anything going on that's the whole point of this test drive well so, let me uh, get situated here this thing has heat wrap on the header so it's still burning stuff off on those Yep, still burning off on the, the header down there. Not really that big of a fan of heat wrap, as I've told you guys in the past. On, especially on Subarus, guys. I mean, you have your exhaust manifold, header, whatever you want to call it. You know, obviously factory runs exhaust manifold. But you have that on the car, and it's on the lowest part of the engine. And cars, you know, some have oil leaks. Obviously ones that have more miles. Where do you think it's going to go? It's going to go right on your heat wrap, on your header. It's a fire hazard. It's just not good guys we don't wrap up pipes we don't do headers um, we don't do any of that on any builds just because of the hazard that it can bring with an engine like this so we just don't do that plus over time it will uh, it will shorten the lifespan of your header too because it holds condensation in and they end up cracking over time and they get more brittle so kind of give you an update on it I know I've talked about that in the past but this thing looks good I don't see any leaks going on definitely a pretty car guys I always love the hatches. Very similar to Devin's build right now going on. Aspen White with the nice hot boy wing. Hot boy setup. Pretty nice car. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the shop here. I'm going to turn this thing off. And this shop just has cars in it right now, guys. Oh, shoot. Almost dropped the camera. So this shop just has the cars sitting in it right now while we're getting situated. Um, you guys are going to find out more of what we're doing on the other shop over there today and why these are just going to be in here for right now as we get set up. I'm trying to get it set up obviously as soon as possible just because we want to have a working shop. We got our power now, which we're going to be changing all these lights out in here too over to LED. Been looking at like the spread out lights that you can screw in, but old girls are in here. Um, still some water in here from when they're cutting off the concrete especially like right there that one was where they had their concrete cutter and some water over here so if this is coming in from the door we'll have to situate that get that taken care of but guys it still just seems so surreal i i don't know when it's gonna click or probably not until we we're having a working shop and actually in here so 
Super excited, guys. Super excited to bring this to you. Now, let's wait for uh, Alex to get over here and we'll get it figured out onto the other shop today. Jesus. Finds the one off road spot to park in. Stick a camera in my face first thing in the morning. Yep. Look at you off roading this thing right away. I gotta move our dirt out and you're just yeah, fuck it. moving it out. It's morning. going trading in anyways. <laughs> all right. Yeah. What's up, guys? Let's see what we got here, huh? Yeah. Let's see, bro. What's up? What do you think? So finishing. You got a perfect drag strip out here. I think you got a drift <laughs> course. There's a drift course with a bunch of uh, roundabouts out there for you. Yeah. Throw back to the old days, dude. You're gonna dude. have to send VA out there. <laughs> God. I didn't open up the door because it's a little bit warmer in here if the door closed. Oh yeah, dude. We're gonna be changing all these lights out today with LEDs. All right. But. Easy money. Gotta clean it out still. Still from them building it. Yeah, we're gonna have to sweep along the edge real quick. I'm gonna have to get a broom. Yeah, dude, it's easy. Easy money, we'll get it from today. You don't want this one right here? So, what we're thinking is to leave this by the panel box open and the door open for right now, because we gotta put the dyno in. And when we do that, you notice all the electrical are on that side of the building. Yep. And the dyno is going to be over there. So if I have stuff over here, I want to run a wire up and over and down and put an outlet on the other side of the door so I can run a cable out here. I can, if we go get more, I can pre cut everything too and just set it aside until you guys do it. Yeah. And then you can just throw it on later. So that way we have it. Yeah. But yeah, I was just going to leave that off for now so that way we can. It's chilly wire. in here, dude. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly. It's colder here than it is in Seattle. Yeah. Like a lot colder. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a bit colder here. What are you gonna be doing today, guy? Doing exactly what I said. Don't hit me up before. <laughs> in your in the video, put my SDI together. I'm getting my knowledge work out of you now. Yeah, finally. Yeah, at least I gave you a break. It's my turn building. to call you an idiot. Oh great, here we go. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, well shit. I'm gonna unpack everything. Okay. Get the first road done all the way around. And hop on a ladder. Aaron's here to pick up his trans. Of course, he got here within like. 10 minutes of me leaving so, so i gotta go back there nice and i gotta go get the truck anyways because i need to get him a ladder which no one has one so i gotta go buy one yeah i can run this whole first row all the way around anyways so i'm gonna go get him a ladder we gotta i gotta go get a broom for him bring i'll bring one a heater <laughs> i'm just kidding you I haven't got one i got the estimate i'm waiting to can I get the actual that? estimate push yeah you can roll it up you just gotta push down on it she's still tight girl damn she's new new yeah oh yeah damn you stoked or what dude Dude, it just it doesn't seem real. I bet. It doesn't seem real to me either. No. Not only do we have this one, but we have a whole other shop over here, dude. That's crazy. Is that two. one finished too? Yeah. You got this you little see. storage lot back here? We got two of them. Well, this one's gonna be there and then one on the other side there. Good side. Good area to put cars in. Get at least eight probably in here. Right? Well, depending on how you angle them. Locking door. I've seen somebody already beat into it over there. They have the oil change and tune-up sign up. <laughs> You're like, yeah, if you want an oil change, just go down this block here. There you go. Not hate you, dude. Yeah. They still had some water in here from their cutting, so I gotta clean it out. God dang it, dude. You need to do something with this car. Well, you see, every time I come back to it, I get something else to mess with. You realize there's so much shit missing and it's all spread out upon every other car that you're like, I don't know if we should. I had it. everything for this car, guys. Literally like 99% everything. Turbo kit, fuel system, axles, clutch, everything. I was like, put Series Grey back together and you're like, fuck. No, I had my own setup for it. You know what happened? Huh. I bought a dyno. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I sold everything. everything. So unfortunately, old girl, she's just gonna be a low mileage unit. But, oh, man. she'll always be with me. You like my new F.A. boy? Yeah, dude. This, the white one? Mm hmm Oh, shit. I was looking at the blue one, I was like, that's not an F.A. No. This is the F.A. boy. Oh. It's got the mirrors in the car. Race car dog. You got the camo up top. It's a real carbon roof. That's sick. You like the Volks? I can't believe the price you got this for, dude. Have you told them yet? No. Not gonna tell? Probably not. Probably it, was, best. it was a good deal. I would never pass that one up. I would have been at the bank pulling a loan for this thing. <laughs> I'm like, yep, yeah, it's mine. There she is. Eventually we'll start on it. Yeah. Got other things to do, like a heater. Now while 
Time no see. I know you're tight fit. Wait, the salvage tidler. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, my cup. Oh Jesus! I was opening the door. Right. Oh, thanks, girl. guy. A little you're too welcome. much white girl for me. This is for the wife. I got a coffee this morning. She about oh, killed nice. me because I didn't get one for her. <laughs> so yeah, saved he saved my butt. Saved the day. Yeah, let me give this to her, and then we can get your transmission loaded up. Side or what? Just this much. Yeah. Just it's just it's that much. You sign up for Texas yet or what? No. Uh, unless you can fit me on your trailer. There's a slight issue, anyways. They're requiring this year 1050 or faster with video proof and time slip proof. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've been on 1050 yet. Yeah, I don't think so. They're yeah. not going to take the drag here, are they? No, nah, probably not. <laughs> so, unfortunately, no Texas. I sent him the video of that thing. Nice. I thought the thousand wheel would uh, cover it enough, but I guess there's a lot of people that claim thousand wheel out there and probably go 11, so. Right. Uh, yeah, I've been there. Been there, done that. <laughs> no. Well, we got trans. She's all freshened up for you. Right on. Uh, new third gear slider, synchros, upgraded to carbon, and shift work. OEM Shift one. For the OEM one. By the way, that billet one, she fucking she shifts nicer than she ever has. Yeah. That is definitely an upgrade that I would recommend after driving it, but I just okay. didn't know. Yep. But now driving that thing is butter. Awesome. Well, hopefully yeah, super that nice. Holds up to your. Yeah, the wife's to daily now. So I, I don't to touch arm. her. <laughs> Things underpowered anymore. I, mean, I never even told you guys what I made. It made 514 max okay. injectors out, 25 pounds on a 6266 on pump gas forever yeah it's super conservative so she uh wanted me to stop at 400 i was like you are get out of here <laughs> pal be bored with it with yeah. in two days i was like no <laughs> way i do need to bump the rev learn down because i well, i had the rev learn pretty high it's at like 8800 right now so i don't really need that for pump gas 8k is plenty <laughs> but <laughs> i had her pretty high i was bearing it into the dash no it's a ripper well, let's get this thing loaded up. All right. All right. Now that Aaron's gone. Damn, this truck's dirty. I gotta give her a good bath. It's been so crappy here lately. There's been no point plus alone on that trip. Well, this is the dirtiest thing's ever been. Aaron is off. He has lots of things to do as just as us. Oh, geez. It's at the parking brake, apparently. Now, we gotta get back to the freaking shop so I can get this brooms over to Alex. So, let's get on our driving back an old girl and get going today i know it's been kind of back and forth but i think you guys will like this style keeps it interesting try to give you guys an all-around lifestyle videos instead of just solely on the cars i try to just do it vlog style for you hopefully you guys do enjoy that stuff if you do just go ahead and tell me down in the comments and then i can keep this coming so let's go see how much progress alex has done all right time to see how far good old Alex has got over here now I'm gonna back the truck up because I got some boxes to put in the shop and today we are gonna go shelving shopping so we can get some nice shelves up and get things organized and up off the floor so let me back this thing up and then we'll go see what the heck he's doing or how far he's gotten I got him the brooms too I did not forget oh man god I love cameras there let's go see how we did Oh, yeah, we got our brooms. Bam. Let's see, we made any progress. 
How's it going, bud? Oh, damn, look at you go. Five minutes doesn't break like this, but. Look at you go. These columns are pretty fucked, man. They're like this. The music is gonna fuck me more, bud. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> it's alright, it's paid for. <laughs> I paid for it. So, how goes it? Well, I don't know. I mean, at least you thought about it that way. I thought about it the other way. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to tape, too. It'll be cheaper versus laying everything down. Right. It's I didn't even think joints. about the column still sticking out, I guess. Yeah, they're all over the place. I'm going to have to replace that sheet. Because I thought we were going to the columns, but I guess that makes sense because there's no... I just set them up in here, and then I realized, like, down here... Mm -hmm. I don't remember what the number was, but... Then in here, it fucking blows out, and I put the sheet up. <laughs> Shit, I should have checked it. So now I'm checking all of them. But the rest of them are fine. That's weird that they didn't, well, I guess they probably didn't think about this because I would have thought about putting it on the, the pillar to that pillar and then the whole wall was covered. What do you mean? Oh, like laying it down. Right. Yeah, that's usually what you would do, but it's so much easier to just stand it up. It takes up a lot more wall than one sheet. It does, but it looks worse. <laughs> you think so? Mm-hmm. Well, we can do it the other way if you want. It's gonna take more sheets though. Yeah. Look what we got. Long time no see, bud. We got Josh back. Look at it. We got speed production over here. Look at you go. Press. Look at the whole place. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, hell yeah. I can't reach any of that until we got this. Yeah, now I went and now got him a nice tall boy ladder. Now. Nice back on. Hey, what do you want to do with this shit here? I was thinking about this when I was running by him. Huh. I almost think we should pull the pull the wire off the wall. Yeah. Well, Alex has been knocking it out of the park in here. Look at you go. I guess you uh, moved up to full-time tech today. Yeah. Instead of part-time. Yeah. He's been knocking this thing out, and it is looking really good. Josh is over there. Got the housewife's broom. The wife's got the real broom over here. We got to get this place cleaned out. We're just going to sweep it out for now because we're still going to have to mud and tape the walls and do all the drywall work still. But Alex is almost done. He just has that wall there and then over through here. We're going to leave this side open for now on the front door because we still need to do some wiring for the dyno. And then once we get that, we can always finish that side up. And we also picked up the paint for the walls. We're just going to be doing white, keep it nice and bright. So you can see... No, we don't got you, Mr. Fingers. <laughs> There's that story. You got fender exits, though. The dyno will be over there. We'll be good. <laughs> Frickin' I painted the whole garage, and as you guys saw and cleaned it all out, what's he do? First handprint on the wall. Asshole. Somebody had to do it. So we got white paint. We got one of those for now. And then the other thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be epoxy in the floor. So we got some nice white epoxy. Keep this place nice, clean. This is going to be the dyno showroom area. I think I already told you guys about that. This one just being solely the dyno area and showroom. And then the other one being the working shop. So we're going to have a lot of time into this. Big shout out to all these guys for helping. And we're going to have a lot of late nights in here getting this all prepped and ready to go. So definitely a bunch of work. He's doing most of the work right now. We'll be catching up once we start taping and mudding these walls. Because I'm sure that's going to take some time after doing the garage. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and call you an idiot like you do with me in a Subaru engine. Bed. You're gonna be on your way back to frickin' Mask Land in Seattle. Well, okay. I wish I could stick around and watch you try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sending him Snapchats. I'd say you're gonna roast you all day. He would. Oh, but, man, love that. Well, I'm gonna help you guys clean up, get this place cleaned up. It's looking really good. As you guys know, we were talking earlier about, I was talking about putting the drywall between the boards. I mean, obviously that doesn't make sense because there's no support in between so i mean like alex said if you leaned on one then it would just fall in you would fall through it somebody <laughs> would be like oh sick nice <laughs> <laughs> That's right, they would do. so, so they're just gonna have the beams for now i think we agreed that we're just gonna leave the beams and then paint them or leave them as wood i think it would look nice to have a wood accent yeah you could stain it too if you really wanted to yeah i think it, i don't think it would look bad Your, um, old man wood. what Oh my god, here we go. Old man truck, old man wood, always just... Old man wood. Get out of here. 
Is, she's complaining because the truck has like wood grain in it, you know? Oh, okay. She says, My mind's in the gutter over here. At least the new truck is like darker stained, okay? So, I'm gonna help these guys. Let's get this knocked out, guys. <laughs> Dino girl is dirty. Good morning. So, truck's warming up right now. As you see, we have a piece of our dyno in the truck. And today, we're gonna be working on getting the shop wired for the dyno and continuing work on drywall. So, let's just jump right into the day, guys. But first, we gotta get our coffee boys. Now, let's go over and get a heater from Josh's because we need this place to be 75 degrees. And I can tell you that it surely is not 75 degrees outside. We are looking at a solid, uh, it says 47 degrees and I don't think that's right. Looking at the weather report shows it was about 32 degrees out this morning and a high of 46 degrees. So obviously that's not gonna work for if we're mudding the walls. So I'm gonna go grab this heater and then we can continue with getting set up today. Well, we spent all morning running around and doing errands and it was another expensive day, but we got like the biggest garbage can I've ever freaking made. And we got Josh's heater, we got the dyno piece, I got fuel for the heater, and then the fun begins in the truck because we have a bunch of wiring tools, wiring, everything to get everything wired for the dyno. So going in here, so I don't know if I ended it out yesterday. This is what the shop looks like now. Alex got this place all knocked out. So we're gonna be mounting some of the dyno stuff over here and doing outlets. So we haven't done anything from here over, but that will come up time. Josh is back over here helping today. Oh, well, of course you got all the Milwaukee stuff, but you didn't bring the drill. No, that's what we forgot too. Yeah, we need a drill with the drill bit. So what, are we gonna, how are we gonna, we just gotta tape seams right now, I guess because we do need a drill to finish some of the screws and drywall. And I'll be putting you guys on a time lapse probably for that because that's not gonna be very interesting. Lots and lots of setup time. But yes, so we're gonna get set up, get to work, put you guys try on a time lapse. What? You found my secret hoarding? That was, that was from my trip, Underneath okay? What do we got there? Yeah, got Raspberry eat donuts? That was from my trip, man, you should've came along, bud. They've been in there for like two days. Just didn't see them. Don't be yelling at me here. Look at all that stuff. There's gonna be a lot of cleanup. So as I'm fi finally finding time here to edit this video out for you guys and get this thing up because we've been so slammed with the new shop. There is so much that has happened in the last couple days that we have not been able to record and a lot of it is tedious. You know, obviously we gotta mud the walls, tape them. And sanding and prepping and painting, guys, it's been more of a process than I had pictured in my head. So we have been closed now. 
for a week and we are definitely going to be probably closed for another week at the shop until we can get up and running um we're doing some epoxy on the floors and as i showed you guys earlier in the videos that's going to take seven days before we can drive on it so definitely trying to get that down so we can get going get this place set up that's why we're kind of lagging on videos guys there's a bunch of progress that has been made that i need to show you guys but for now i'm just gonna end out the video here thank you guys so much for your support I'm trying to get this thing set up just the way that we pictured it so just hold on here get this video out for you guys to see and then we'll get you a new one coming that shows a lot more progress so thank you guys for watching and i can't wait to show you the next video living life up in the fast lane Throw you lemons, you just put them in Coronas, Coronas, Coronas I've been working, working, I need that advance with the bonus, the bonus, the bonus Ain't no thoughts about tomorrow, I'm just living in the moment, the moment, the moment Fool, take a gas and 200 on the dash, bitch, I'm zoning, I'm zoning, I'm zoning Fast lane, living life up in the fast lane Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground, 